Hello everyone, today I'm going to do an unboxing of the Heart 16 gallon uh, shop vac. Um, you can see it's a wet and dry vacuum, 300 air watts. Um, this one cost me a hundred, it was $99, um, so around a hundred. Let me, let me, um, let me unbox this, well, let me open this up and I'll be right back. Alrighty, and this is what you get inside. You got you some attachments here. There's one. Just fell on the floor. Here's another one. You see the birds, Charlie? He's over there talking to the birds. Um here's your use your use your manual. It's got all the information in here. Um, let me see, um, you got a, a bar, let me sit this here, um, let me get the, the rest of this out, and, um, I'll be right back once I get this out. Okay, that's all that came in the box, you got the attachments, you got the, um, the bar to hook up to the top of here um i gotta find the rest i'm sure it's in here and cat you better not come over here messing with that damn wire let me push this up come on pop open uh, there we are let me pull this up and i'll be right back all righty this reveals the rest of the stuff you can see there's the filter um, you got your hose right here. You got your attachments in here. Uh, I have no idea what this is. Oh, it's a, a bag. Um, some foam. Um, it's your wheels. There's one wheel. There's the second wheel. Um, there's the third wheel. And then there's one more. There's the fourth wheel. Um, and here's your, you got some attachments here. Wow. Is that supposed to be like that? <laughs> I guess so. Or did they break the damn thing? There's that. Um, there's your screws. Right there. Here's that attachment. There's a couple of them. And um, there's the handle. There's one handle. There's another attachment. Uh, uh, let me see. I think there's only one handle in there. And there's the other hose right there. So, um... Let me get this put all together. Um, you got the screws, got everything right there. Then you get all this and then the handle. Arr, 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 arr. Yeah, shush, you big, we crazy ass cats. Alrighty, um, let me put this together. And once I get this all situated, I'm gonna go out to the car and I'll turn it on and then I'll I'll do some light vacuuming and then we'll go from there. The handle goes like this. I'm gonna put the handle on there. I'm gonna do a little installation guide. You're gonna have to push this in a little bit so it'll fit. And then your screws go in here. Um, let me screw that in and um, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna stick the bar in here. Now you can see it has these two holes on the side and then it has this little clamp, little little thing sticking out um all you do is you can push it in right here it's a two-handed job so that one goes there and the other one goes in here i'm gonna get that situated and i'll be right back Alrighty. now the wheels they're just an easy installation um you just slide them on like this and then you push it in there's that one there's that one 
There's two more to go. Let me grab these. Um, let me see here. Set this like that. Then you just slide it on. There's that. So there's four screws for the wheels and then there's two screws for the top handle. And then you can put that one on. There's your wheels, your four screws go in right there, one there, one there for each wheel. Um, and then the handle right there, all you do is just um, screw that on. Let me do the wheels and then um, I'll do the handle and I'll be right back. Alrighty, I got the wheels attached on there. I got the screws in there and there goes them two cats running around. Put your screws in here for the handle and then you can screw that down and that's it. All you had to install was the four wheels and this bar and the handle. But this is what it looks like. This is the 16 gallon one says six peak horsepower um it's really easy to to rotate on the floor with the um with the wheels you can move it around on the floor really easy um i got your cord there uh but yeah um let me screw those in and um, let me get all these attachments situated. And that's pretty much it. Um, so I'll be back. Um, I think the next step, I'll just go outside because I have to get my drop cord. It's a it's 100 foot and that thing goes long. Um, and um, I'll be back. All right, everyone, I'm outside. Let me turn this on. Let me come up over here. This one seems like it's for the upholstery. You can see. got good suction this one does let me um let me move this vacuum over some one more thing the poor marksmanship or the poor uh, I wouldn't say marksmanship but uh, the poor quality I'll just say that that's all that's all the only word I could think of right now but um this one right here they did not make the hole big enough. You could see how how it's blocking. This top part right here is blocking this from holding this. Don't you see what I mean? So whenever you try to use the handle, it just comes up and comes out. So I'm going to have to drill a little bit of that bigger hole for the top part. This one over here, it's fine. It has no problem. It's just that one side with the bar. This one is fine. It goes all the way in. It's just the other one, other side. Um, but I'm gonna continue vacuuming. Um, let me see here. I'm trying to figure out. Um, see, I usually have some stuff here on the side. This is where I'm gonna use this, this attachment at. Um, let me check out the back here. Um, the back's not that bad. It's, the back's not that clean. It's just the, we got stains. I don't know what this was from. I have no idea what that was from. Maybe it was cleaning supplies or something we had in here. Um, see, so we got stuff in the back there. Um, overall, it was a clean little car. Um, I'll do some cleaning in the seats. Um, see, it's not bad. But yeah, um, let me go ahead and 
do some more just to see what I could do. And we'll go from there. Let me um circle this around. I got this long drop cord here. Let me pull this over some so I don't have to fight with it much. This drop cord is 100 foot, so it comes in use whenever I'm pressure washing the car and the, and the mower and such. Let me, um, let me pop this back on. I'm right handed, so it don't help, and I'm trying to restore You can see how good it sets up stuff. But I see it being good for like getting dirt off the carpet. But you have to hold it at an angle for it to get a good suction. You can see it's got good suction. It'll try to pull up the carpet. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I guess that's it for now. I'm gonna finish cleaning up the car. I might pressure wash it later. And I'll catch y'all later. I'm sweating. You can see little sweat driplets right there. Um, but yeah, that's that's it for now. Catch y'all later. I hope y'all enjoy. I'm not going to ask for a subscribe or like the video. That's not me. Alrighty, y'all. This is what it looks like after I've done vacuuming. Um, vacuum did a pretty good job. Um, um have nothing bad to say about it um this is like the first shop back that i've owned um but overall it did good the suction was good um some areas the carpet like some of it i can't get up but it got most of it up as you could see most of it got up um like some of these other areas it didn't uh didn't uh, I wouldn't say it didn't get it. It was just probably some of the stuff won't come up off the carpet. Like some of it's like hair. And then some of it's just like little specks of dirt. Overall, I'm happy with it. I got to pressure wash the car now. It's dirty. See, the windows are dirty. All this is dirty. I'm going to vacuum it out. Well, I already vacuumed it out. I'm going to pressure wash it. And then I'm going to go from there. I'll catch y'all later.